two of the following videos are true while yeah, the other one go. is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. This is an induction heater. Even though the coil is not abnormally hot and I can actually touch it, it uses alternating magnetic fields to heat any magnetic and conductive object like this fork to red hot temperatures in under 30 seconds. Sure. There's 13 nuts. Okay. And yep, a fork is going to experience eddy currents due to Faraday's law, and it's going to cause resistive heating. Reactor components undergo eddy current system all the time during refueling out. And induced currents are taken into consideration when designing reactor vessel supports or magnetic pumps. Side on one side and one nut on the other. Okay. If I raise the heavier side up and then let go of the side with one nut, the heavier side will actually not hit the ground. If I take a... Sure. The center of mass remains in midair, converting potential energy to pendulum motion rather than free fall. You look at distributed mass effects in fuel assemblies because they're suspended in cranes. Even though they're underwater, you still need to take a take that into consideration because precise movements are needed. And all seismic design accounts for pendulum behavior reactor green laser pointer and shine it onto a canvas that has been coated in glow-in-the-dark paint. The laser pointer will charge the canvas and you can see the drawing when the light is turned off. I've seen all three videos now. Okay, green isn't going to be the right color of laser for this. You need something with higher energy like UV light or high energy blue to excite electrons that well. Just like in neutron activation when testing materials in a research reactor, you need to surpass the required threshold energy. Now pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The induction heater does, Three. does heat objects that quickly and it's such an awesome device that I made a separate video that walks you <laughs> through how cool, to assemble they? it, which I'll link in the comments. While it is possible to charge a glow-in-the-dark canvas with a laser pointer, you need one that emits blue light, not green. Yeah. Or UV.